Now I will move on to um, the assessment of the lungs. Uh, I will begin by assessing the um, anterior posterior lateral diameter. Okay. I am noting that um, the AP lateral diameter is one is to two. There's no barrel chesting or uh, um, enlargement. Um, when Rob came today for the physical exam, I uh, noted that um, his respiration is 18 even and non-labored. Uh, what I will do now is assess the use of the accessory muscles. I'm noting that um, there is no use of accessory muscles there are no retractions or any bulging in the intercostal spaces. Uh, the next test is called respiratory excursion. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, Ralph, I'm going to ask you to turn around a little. Okay. <coughs> what I'm going to do is uh, place my hand at the level of the tent rib. Okay. I will grasp a pinch of the fold of the skin right here mm -hmm. and I will ask Rob to uh, take a deep breath very good I noted that uh, my hand rises symmetrically um, with inspiration the next test is called a tactile fremitus Rob I'm going to ask you to say 99 Okay. Say 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay. Tactile fremitus is um, intact. Uh, it is symmetrical without any obvious asymmetry. The next test is called percussion. You can breathe normally. It is resonant throughout. Uh, there is no dullness or any asymmetry. The next technique that uh, I will do is called diaphragmatic excursion. Uh, what I'm trying to identify here is the level of the uh, resting diaphragm as well as the uh, level of the diaphragm with maximal inhalation and um, exhalation. Um, what I'm going to do is um, I will start percussion uh, here on the left side. I noted that resonance is replaced by, by dullness on the side. Rob, I'm going to uh, ask you to uh, take a deep breath and hold it. Okay. Breathe normally, Rob. Okay. Okay, take a deep breath and hold it. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to uh, ask you to take a deep breath, blow out, and hold. 
Just tell me when I can be the guy, okay? Okay. You can begin. Okay. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath, blow out and hold. Measuring it is six centimeter on the left and six centimeter on the right, and that is a normal finding. Okay. <clears throat> the next technique that I'm going to do is called the auscultation. Rob, I'm going to uh, start with uh, your back. I'm going to ask you to breathe in and out for me. Deeper. Take a deep breath. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe it and out. Breathe it and out. Breathe it and out. There you go. Breathe it and out. I noted that they are vesicular breath sounds posteriorly. Now I will occultate anteriorly. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Good. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Lung sounds is vesicular for a while. There are no wheezes, crackles, or rub anteriorly and posteriorly. If I'm concerned about a sound that I heard or uh, I'm suspecting um, about a consolidation, I will move and perform the following uh, technique. The first is called agophony. Over an area of consolidation, I'm going to uh, check Rob's back and I will place the stethoscope on his back while um, I ask Rob to say E. 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 Okay. So there is um, no conversion of E to A, therefore this is a negative egophony. And um, the next technique is called bronchophony. Uh, Rob, I will have you say 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Over an area of consolidation, 99 will sound more pronounced or with increased clarity, and I did not note that. Now, another technique is called whispered petroliloquy. I will ask Rob to whisper 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Over an area of consolidation, uh, the whispered 99 will uh, increase in clarity or it's, it will sound more pronounced and uh, whispered petroliloquy is negative.